My next guest fight Saturday against Blagoya Ivanov in the main event of UFC Fight Night 133. It is Junior Dos Santos joining me here. Junior, how are you? I'm doing fine. Thank you. How about you? I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. Not everyone asks how I'm doing, so I like that. <laughs> and uh, it's been a busy day for you media-wise. Uh, how has it been, you know, being back and then having to do all the media obligations? Uh, it feels good. It feels good. I was missing this. Yeah, <laughs> I was missing to talk with you guys, to be doing all this thing, living this environment, you know, fight environment. That That's that's nice to be back. Well, it's it's good to see you back. I know you've been off for a while. Um, how did you uh, deal with, you know, just this entire year? Because you're a competitive guy. I know you like to get in there and fight and everything. How did you, uh, you know, what were you up to basically in, in the year that you were off? Well, uh, yeah, it was... It was a wasn't a very nice, uh, t good year for me, you know. So uh, I was trying. Actually, you know, I was, I was, uh, I didn't stop training. I was taking care of life, of course, doing my my things, uh, my personal things. But uh, I didn't stop training. I didn't stop uh, believing that uh, I would get released. I would get uh, set free uh, fe um, earlier than this, you know, and I, I could fight again. So I was training the whole time and keep it, keeping positive about uh, about everything, you know. And as soon as they set me free to fight again, you know, I felt great. And I closed my fight with Bagoy. And the other day, and the other day, I was talking to the UFC and I said they offered me Bagoy, and I said yes, that's the guy. <laughs> if there is no other, that's the guy I want. Okay. Did you know much about him before you took this fight? Not really, not really. I didn't know too much about him, but I, uh, but it was easy to to search about him. And you know, he's a great champion. And uh, some of the guys of my gym, of our gym, ATT, fought him before, so uh, they were telling me things about him too. So yeah, no doubt it's gonna be a tough fight. You know, he's a tough guy. He's coming from Sambo, but he likes to stand, to stand up and bang too. Does this remind you a little bit of your UFC debut? Uh, just with the roles, roles reverse, you know, you have a guy who has a really good record coming in, making his debut against a former, uh, you know, top fighter. Uh, does this kind of remind you of that a little bit? Yeah, that's true. You're right. It was like my, my debut in the UFC. So, and uh, one of the things that I'm not going to do what my opponent did at that time is underestimate my opponent. Exactly. You know? I will not do that. I'm coming 100%. I did an excellent camp. I trained very well, you know, I'm, I'm ready for this and I'm ready to go down there and put in a good show. Do you watch tape on your opponent or do your coaches do that? I do that. I do that with them too, you know. Uh, so we start, we discuss about uh, the situation, his uh, strengths, uh, strengths and uh, also his weaknesses. So, uh, yeah, we watch that a lot. That's great. Now, did you train an American top team for this camp or where, where did you do your training camp? Yes, I, I did my whole training camp at American Top Team. I brought my, my coach uh, from Brazil, my boxing coach, Luis Carlos Doria. And, but the, train, the whole training camp was, uh, was there at the ATT with uh, Cattell, with Macaron, with Conan, uh, with all those guys. Okay, and what about training partners? Uh, who are some of the, I know American uh, Top Team's at like a huge gym, but who are some of the, the main guys that you got to work with? Yeah, I, we have, uh, uh, my, main, my main training partner at this time was Saeed, I forgot his last name, it's hard, kind of hard to say. No problem. But his, name, uh, his name is Saeed, uh, he's a great guy, you know, great jiu-jitsu, and uh, he's a southpaw too, so he was helping me for, for this fight, and we did an excellent training camp. Of course, there's many other guys, but my main, my main uh, partner for this fight was Saeed. Okay, that's great. Now, as a heavyweight, do you have to watch your diet at all, or do you get to kind of eat what you want? Yes, I do, uh, but not to 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 lose weight. I, I watch my diet to get stronger, to to feel good, you know, and to be uh, one hundred percent, you know, for my fight, you know. But I I follow a a good diet too with my uh, my doctor uh, endocrinologist, uh, uh, Doctor Maria Bogea, and my nutritionist uh, Marcelo Guedes. They, they do an excellent job with me, and that's why I'm always in good shape. <laughs> I, I'd say so. Um, who, who's going to be in your corner for this fight? In my corner is going to be my coach, Doria, Jukão, Rohan Jukão, who's a, my jiu-jitsu coach. Uh, Said is going to be here, too. And also uh, Rubens, Doria, who is the, uh, which is the brother of uh, Coach Doria, and also my, uh, my boxing coach, 
um, do my striking um, striking coach. He came before of Doria. Doria would, took some time to come because he was doing something else there in Brazil. So he came before and was helping me. So he, and he's here with me. That's great. Now, how do you see this fight playing out on Saturday? It's heavyweight, so you know, oftentimes we see finishes. How do you see this playing out? Yeah, it's gonna be no doubt a good fight for Boise. I hope that Boise and the whole world are ready to see a knockout, you know, because that's what I'm coming for. You know, I'm coming to knock him out. He's, uh, I'm sure he's ready for that too. So no doubt a lot of excitement are, is waiting for us. I, I'd say so. Um, now, the, the landscape of the heavyweight division has changed a lot since the last time you fought. How, how close, realistically, do you think you are if you, if you get a finish here and, uh, you know, get an impressive win? Well, I'm very close, man. I, I'm, you know, I, 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 I'm, I'm always putting in a good show. You know, I always fight hard, and uh, you know, there is no, no doubts about this. You know, who, who, if I get the, uh, when I get this, this win on Saturday, probably, you know, we, can, I can do one more fight and fight, for, fight for the title then. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, were you surprised to see Daniel Cormier win the title on Saturday? Yes, I was. Yeah, very surprised. You know, actually. Uh, the way, actually, I was surprised with the way he won the fight, you know, knocking his tip out. I wasn't expecting that, you know, but he did great, of course. Uh, he could win the fight, but with a, with a grappling game, you know, not, not that way, that, like that. But I think Miocic, uh, Miocic did some mistakes during the fight, accepting the close distance. The only chances that uh, Cormier had was in the close distance, and Miocic allowed him to have those chances. So, uh, yeah, he did great, actually, you know, and now he's two, time, two division champion. That's amazing. I agree. And, of course, the big news after that was Brock Lesnar is coming back, and it sounds like he's going to fight Cormier next. As a fellow heavyweight, what was your reaction when you saw all that go down? <laughs> I didn't understand, man, anything. No, because I didn't understand before because – like Daniel Cormier was saying how important was the moment for us and you know an amazing moment of his, his career two time a two division champion and then at some point the two division champion invite Brock Lesnar to step in the octagon I said what is that what is that I, I, I'm not understanding what's happening here you know but uh but then they did that whole theater that whole thing you know and in the press conference, I was watching the press conference. Then I start to understand things, you know. Daniel Cormier was explaining why he invited Brock Lesnar to step in the octagon at that time. And it's all about money, man. He wants, he's a smart champion. He wants an easy fight with a lot of money, Brock Lesnar. And my last question, uh, who are you cheering for now in the World Cup? <laughs> uh, man, I don't really know. But I, I think I'm going to go with Croatia. You know, nice. those okay. guys are amazing. I, 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 I loved to fight there and I had amazing times there. So I'm going to go with them. Are you watching any TV right now? Any Netflix, anything like that? Not really. Not no? really. No. <laughs> Not really. Yeah. Right now I'm focused on the fight. Actually, a few weeks ago, I'm not, I, I stopped watching TV. I was watching the, only the, the Brazil game. Okay, <laughs> but then Fair Brazil enough, lost. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now you don't watch it anymore. Watching, yeah. yeah. Uh, when, what's your favorite thing to do in Florida now that you live there? My gosh, man, there's so many amazing things in Florida. Florida is a is a an amazing place, you know. And uh, the, mo the, the, the but the most important thing I do there is to and I did a lot this this whole year, you know. That was the positive side of my of the thing, you know. It's to spend time with my son, with my family. Man, I had some good times. I can tell. You, you, seem, you seem very upbeat, very positive, Junior. It's great that we're going to be seeing you back here this Saturday. Um, just, just remind people where they can find you on social media. And if you have any thank yous or sponsors, the floor is yours, sir. Yeah, cool. Thank you very much for all you guys for your support. And don't miss it. You know, Saturday night, we're going to go. We're going to fight again. And God willing, we're going to get that W. My social media is Junior underscore Cigano. Follow me over there and see all the, the, the things that's going on in my life. <laughs> What's up, Fight Fans? If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to see even more interviews with your favorite UFC and Bellator fighters. We've also got coverage at events, including post-fight press conferences and media scrums. And if you like this video, check out the video to my right. It's worth your time.